show today. Mike Tyndall. Sizzling rugby. Battered and bruised. Should have been a footballer, really. I enjoy the show. It's good entertainment. It seems like it's good crack. Tyndall is, I mean, he's an absolute, he's, he's a legend. When you play in the Six Nations, you know that someone's always trying to kick your head in. Nobody will catch Mike Tyndall. Top class. It's not going to help. He's still going to be really bent. Welcome to a League of Their Own. Mike Tyndall through Paris. Tyndall for the line. Gets away from everybody. Try for England. Yes, it's England rugby captain and heir to the throne, almost. It's Mike Tyndall. <laughs> Has anyone here ever been arrested? Anybody? Anyone? <laughs> Mike? <laughs> when did you... When was... When did I last get arrested? When... <laughs> you... Mike, were you arrested because you look a bit like a photo fit? It doesn't look like all the bits go together, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> and I'm only saying it because I'm right away over here and I feel a little bit safe. <laughs> oh, I, know, I, know, I know what you mean. When I first met him, I thought he was looking at me through a window. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be upstage, how did Mike's future mother-in-law, Princess Anne, make her entrance? On a horse? No. Did she, did she have a Brazilian? No. <laughs> Princess <laughs> Anne. Princess... <laughs> what did he say then? Princess... Did she have a Brazilian? He said, how did she make her entrance? <laughs> <laughs> That's OK, isn't it? Uh, now, Mike, we all know that you're marrying Prince William this summer. Um... <laughs> <laughs> That's right, you're marrying um, Zara. We got a picture from Henley, actually, of the moment that Princess Anne learned that you would be her son-in-law. Um... <laughs> <laughs> you know the worst thing is? First, literally, proposed to her, she picks up the phone, she rings her mum. Mum says, can we get his nose straightened for the wedding? <laughs> <laughs> that is outrageous. And the worst thing was, she's so keen for it, she's happy to pay for it. <laughs> yeah. Without money! Yeah. That's not <laughs> <laughs> um, what's the poshest event you've been to so far? Apart from tonight. <laughs> Obviously, the class in here is outstanding. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think the, the, the would have been Royal Ascot and tea with the Queen would have been. What's she like? Do you go in the Royal Entrance? It's one of the perks. You go in there as many times as you can, but... <laughs> <laughs> you, have you ever seen, like, uh, gouging? Does that happen still? Uh, not anymore. Not... Oh, well, hopefully it doesn't, but... It kept, uh, people... Someone got banned for six months a while back, but... Um, you don't normally get it. You can give it... If you know someone, you can give them a little prod and... Hopefully they'll laugh about it, but... What about one of those... <laughs> just got to make sure you know him. So where's, where's, where's that little problem well, happening? Any, well, if you're a rugby league, it's normally in, in the pooper, but... <laughs> oh, really? It's all of the skill. I yeah. see a running man thinking, I'm not only going to tackle him, I'm <laughs> going to make sure when I do, I pick him up. <laughs> <laughs> Great way to go up for a line-out. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you must have thought about this. Um, if the worst came to the worst, and there was some sort of a massive freak accident, and you and Zara became king and queen, <laughs> what's the first thing you'd do? What would you do? I love that question. It must have crossed your mind. I love that question. He's thought about it. Of course he has. <laughs> you would be the first king who would look good in armour. Would yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. so, yeah, I'm the fucking king. Yeah, I'm yeah. the king. Well, I'm the king. Yeah, I'd I'm possibly the king. just walk around in armour all the time. Yeah. Just walk around in armour all the time. When's armour going to come back? That's what I want to know. <laughs> it always goes in cycles. Jimmy, you know your fashion. When's armour coming back? Uh, spring. <laughs> <laughs> spring Summer Collection 2012, yeah? Yeah, it's yeah. going to be amazing. Um, <laughs> Fish, what would you do if you were the king? What would you do? Oh, God, if I was king for the day, I'd give everyone a day off. Except people who work in banks. <laughs> and I'd call it 
a non-bank holiday. <laughs> and I so at one point, how did Mike celebrate England's 2003 World Cup victory on the plane home from Australia? Did he A, get so drunk he passed out, B, get so drunk that he sung God Save the Queen once an hour on the hour for the full flight, or C, get so drunk he rugby tackled a stewardess? <laughs> when you say rugby tackled a stewardess, did he do the thing with the... I, I would imagine... <laughs> no. Is, uh, it, is, is, it, is it weird, like, Mike, when, you, when you're singing the anthem and you're singing about your missus' his gran? Uh, <laughs> the answer is A. Mike's teammate, Matt Dawson, uh, in fact, said Tyndall went for the David Boone challenge of 54 cans of beer. <laughs> but he tried to do it with Foster's, where the cans were twice the size of the ones David Boone was using. He got to about 20, then passed out somewhere. <laughs> You have the idea that you passed out somewhere. You were on a plane. Where could you be? <laughs> Naturally, this resulted in the predictable, uh, strongly worded response from Buckingham Palace that uh, Mike Tyndall is a pussy and that Princess Anne could drink him under the table. That was, that was the Royals. Can I, can I, Dorsa, I spoke to Dorset actually today and he said your missus can drink you under the table. True? My missus can drink many of people under the table. Especially you. Oh, Any not. footballer. <laughs> She'd take on a whole team. <laughs> oh, easy, right? Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. 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 Hey! All right. The last part of this round in honour of Mike is a rugby challenge. Jimmy and John, you're up for this one. All you have to do is put in six big hits on our two tackle bags, one after another, then Mike will pass you a ball and you have to score a try with an ash splash like the England flying winner, Chris Ashton. <laughs> there he is, OK? Whoever does it the fastest gets the points. Mike, do you want to demonstrate the ash splash for us? Do you want to have a look? OK, yes, give him some encouragement, it. ladies and gentlemen. There's an ash splash. Don't worry, Mike, give us your best ass splash. <laughs> you would not want to be Zara Phillips with that going on. <laughs> that was a great, that was a great ass splash. Let's have a look at it again. <laughs> hey! Give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. John Bishop. Now, in honour of the England captain, I want to look a little bit like him. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the time starts when you hear the whistle. Ladies and gentlemen, give them plenty of encouragement. Go on, Biff. Did I win? Absolutely top class.